And tonight, we share a sad update about a young man from Holdenville. We first met Randy Crawford last year and have followed his health journey ever since. He was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome and as a result of one of many heart surgeries, developed liver cancer. Randy was an avid mud racer and formed a charity using his race winnings to help others fighting cancer and to quietly donate to anyone in need. Time stops for no one. He knew that his days was numbered. When Randy Crawford was born, doctors told his parents he wouldn't make it out of the hospital, but he celebrated his first birthday, then two. Today, he would have turned 20. <sighs> Things won't ever be the same without Randy. The Crawfords knew this day would come. They just didn't know when. The morning that it happened, he took his cousin and they went and had breakfast. Randy was a favorite at the local diners. He then ran a few errands and headed back home. He was in the shower. He told us that his heart was beating really fast. He didn't feel right. He got out and just collapsed. And we, um, we done CPR and called 911 and it just it was too late. He said, when the good Lord wants me, then I'm a goner. When we last interviewed Randy, we asked him I mean, if he had a bucket list. One name that just comes right to mind is John Force. Like that, that's definitely like right there in the top. During what would be his final hospital stay, Randy got a phone call from the legendary drag racer himself. Take your time, I'm in no hurry. Uh, what a, uh, let me gather myself here. They talked about racing and faith. You gotta be believed in positive thinking. John also gifted Randy one of his championship watches. Time is precious. You don't know how much that, that means to me. I'm gonna try to give you a call out on TV. And true to his word, on national TV from the Bandamere Speedway in Colorado. I wanna do a shout out uh, to a Randy uh, um, Crawford. He's a fighter like me, Randy. Keep fighting. When Randy was finally released from the hospital, doctors gave him two days. He made it nine and spent the day before he passed cruising his hometown, listening to music. He knew how sick he was. Before his death, Randy raised enough money for multiple college scholarships, even though he knew he couldn't attend himself. His last day on this earth, after breakfast, but before he made his way home to shower. I went and bought groceries for a family here in town. He made time for one last good deed. Mm -hmm.